And also protesters in Delta State visited the government house and demand better living conditions for Nigerians at day one of a two-day of the NLC nationwide protest over the hardship in the country. Our server correspondent, the Commodore Friday, reports that the governor of Delta State, Sharif Abouri, praised the peaceful protest describing the high living cost in the country as a national disaster that is affecting every Nigerian. That is a man that will always stand by the truth and look at the situation in their face and tell them it's supposed to be. We have come here today to bring our protest before you that at the Federal Executive Council meeting that he should help us. Because I want to assure you, my Excellency, that if nothing is done, we are being controlled today by hunger. And when a man is hungry, a man is angry. And an angry man, I want to tell you, is insane. And at that point of insanity, anything we do will be come to hungry and we will not be held responsible. We want to appeal His Excellency today that he should not look at it because things are good for, for the political class. In as much as we are thinking of how Nigeria will get better, Nigeria can never get better when the people you are leading are hungry and languishing in poverty in abject one and that matter. As I speak to you today, so many things have gone wrong. Our savings have been depleted. Even the salary so called cannot, cannot do anything to us again. A bag of rice is 80,000. Representing the governor of Delta State, the SSG Kingsley Emu, a short term of government actions to make life better for Nigerians. We are going to reschedule your work days to suit your, to your, to suit your wallets. We have consistently kept to that. He said he was going to give us some stipends for some months. He has some consistently kept to that faith. He's somebody who cares for you. And I'm happy that you appreciate him. When he made some of these commitments, Nigeria had not, well, we were not at the crossroads. When he made those commitments, we didn't have this kind of economic hardship. But he made them. He feels you because he's a street man and he understands the markets. He also connect, is also connected to his people. So he's a grassroots person. Your case today is a national case. It's a national, uh, uh, if you like, pandemic. It's a national disaster. Everybody feels that pain. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.